Hello YouTube, this is Skip, coming to you live, straight out of Real House 6 Aquatic Kennels. Right before you is my aquarium house, aka the store shed. And right now, I am in the process of inspecting the outer interior and integrity of the store shed. Today is 27 degrees. Very cold. And you can see these little ice pockets or ice cubes right here on the side of the building. And I'm going to explain to you guys how I keep the inside of this structure warm during the winter months. As you can see, little ice cubes on the perimeter of the roof. But on the top, it's clear of any ice or debris. I'm going to show you guys a little later an example of how this works on the outside. So you can see how effective my technique is. Show you the um, the roof of my house and my garage as well as this store shed and you guys can see how effective this technique and this scientific process is that I, I utilize to keep this room warm. Whew, it's nice and humid in here. It's about 72 degrees inside my aquarium building. And you must know that I don't use any space heaters, any type of heaters whatsoever. Because I believe that space heaters, if they're unattended or no one is watching them or managing them, they can be very dangerous. And a space heater can possibly create an electrical fire or a fire that would, of course, destroy this whole entire building because it's made of wood. You see the tech shield on my roof, on the ceiling of my roof? That's a vapor shield. That's, that's to hold the moisture in and, then, and let it breathe at the same time. Although it's not a hundred percent effective, it is effective enough to where I don't get a lot of mold and mildew due to the moisture vapors from my aquariums and on the integrity of the wood inside this storage unit. Now one of the reasons why is because I have this fan. on the south side of the building that runs 24-7. What you doing? Nice white and orange Midas, creamsicle Midas. And what that does is suck out the humidity and it goes through that vent that's behind it and it goes outdoors. And then we walk over Go to the north side, this fan blows in the cooler air from the outdoors to keep the moisture barrier at a minimum. Now my lower level aquariums all have heaters. Most of the mid-level or top aquariums do not unless I have Trimax in them and Midas that can't handle low temperatures. As you can see here, Big Grave Digger doesn't have a heater at all in this tank. But my Midas have a heater in their tank. Which you'll see in the next clip how the vapors 
rise up because heat rises and keep his tank warm as well as this tank beneath him. But it's still a little chill for most tropical fish. The reason being, most tropical fish like the temperature between 75 and 80. Black nasties on the other hand are unique tropical fish. They can withstand low temperatures like in the low 70s without any issues whatsoever. That's one of the black nasty Hadeans' unique traits. They can handle low temperatures and actually they even like low temperatures. And Grave Digger here, he thrives in low temperatures. Let me see if I, I just fed him earlier so I usually don't feed him that much but I'm, I just want to demonstrate to you guys no heater in this tank whatsoever. Watch Big Grave Digger. He's a greedy son of a gun. Check him out. Your average Central or South American cichlid, this tank, the temperature, the core temperature is 72. It's between 72 and 70 degrees. And yet, Grave Digger is eating, thriving in this aquarium, whereas most cichlids wouldn't even eat. They'd just sit at the bottom and try to conserve as much energy as they can and stay warm. So let's go on to the next footage and check out the outside and see how the science is working. Check this out, aquatic community. Here's an example of how the science work within my technique of keeping my aquarium storage building heated throughout the winter. Right before you is my house and as you can see on the roof all the shingles are completely covered with ice. Even on the surface of my garage the shingles are completely covered with ice. But on my aquarium storage building the shingles are clear of any ice or debris whatsoever. It's like having a heated roof. And the reason why is because I have a certain amount of aquariums aligned throughout my aquarium building, especially on the bottom level or the lower level, with heaters in them. And then when the heat rises and the water evaporates, it heats the tank that's above it. And if the tank above it have a heater in it, then it heats whatever's above it, which will be the next level which would be the ceiling or the rooftop of my aquarium building which keeps the whole entire structure warm I don't have any space heaters any central heating or air or anything whatsoever the only thing that's heating this building before you is the aquarium heaters that's on the lower level of the tanks I even have a tank that's directly next to that door with big grave digger in it and it has no heater in it whatsoever matter of fact let me show you guys as I walk up here and just to give you guys an idea how cold it is out here this is my aquarium maintenance van check out the windshield sheets of ice ice that's how cold it is. But yet, on the rooftop of my aquarium building, there is no ice. Check out Big Grave Digger's tank. Coming here, as you can see, let me turn on this light. There is no heater, no submersible heater, no clamp on heater, nothing whatsoever. He is right next to the door, as you can see. Now there is a heater on this tank. Of course with Big Eagle and Miss Pearl in. And this, this tank, the heat rises when it evaporates. I, I leave a little opening right here 
it rises up like right here in between here now where my hand is I can feel the heat that's coming off this tank and it's coming and hitting the, the bottom surface of this aquarium which keeps it warm let's see I don't know if my camera really picks up the color differential on this chart here but it's around 72 degrees with no heater and it's 27 degrees outdoors today and there's no central air or heating in this building I have only two fans from, from one vent to another vent that runs 24 7 and that's just to keep the humidity out of here it's still humid in here still some moisture some water drippings on the floor but it's not as much as it would be had I not had these fans running 24 7 just to give you guys an idea look at all these beautiful awesome Midas tons of them off my bloodline pure Midas I think if I turn on the light they may all start scattering but I don't know let's see pure Midas so I just wanted to give you guys an example of my technique and the science behind my technique of heating this aquarium building there are a lot of people in this area and in North America period that wanted to try to do the same thing as, that I have done and keep aquariums in a storage building or shed or barn or garage but hard it's hard for them to figure out how to keep it heated I'm telling you you have to have a certain amount you have to do a count you have to have a certain amount of tank space per square feet and that, and that water has to be heated per square feet to get the precise measurement of temperature that you want in your building all year round now of course in the summertime it's much hotter in here it's like it's like 90 degrees but if it's 90 degrees in here it's like 95 almost 100 degrees outside if it's 80 degrees in here it's like 95 degrees outside so the temperature varies between like a 10% difference from outdoors the skip I'm out okay aquatic community it is now 324 p.m. is later on in today and as you can see there's no more ice on my rooftop of my house nor my garage now for you guys who may question why is it that there was ice on the roof of your house and your house is heated as well skip there is a barrier between the living space and the roof to answer your question with installation and the installation is to keep the warm air in and let the cold air get out unlike my aquarium building where there is no barrier and that's by, that's by design because I don't want a situation where the vapors from my aquarium get caught into the installation and create a mold situation where you have a lot of mold in there and the drywall right out and everything so I hope you guys understand what I was trying to show you and demonstrate to you and enjoy this video this skip you know the saying